simple science. What happens to different materials when you heat them up or cool them down? Some solids melt and become liquids when they are heated. For example, ice will melt into liquid water if you leave it at room temperature. Chocolate and butter will grow soft and melt if they are left sitting in the hot sun. And wax near the flame of a burning candle will melt and drip down the side of the candle. These changes can be reversed. When you cool liquid water down below zero degrees Celsius by putting it in a freezer, it changes back into solid ice. Similarly, if you take the melted chocolate and butter out of the hot sun and leave them in the cool shade, they will harden again. And the drips of molten candle wax will solidify once they have run down the side of the candle and have cooled away from the hot flame at the top of the candle. Other materials undergo different sorts of changes when they are heated up. For example, cake mixture rises and turns into solid cake when it is baked in a hot oven. Clay can be shaped and turned into hard bricks and earthenware when it is baked in a very hot kiln. These changes cannot be reversed. Cake doesn't change back into cake mixture and bricks don't change back into clay when they are cooled down. They just get harder. A similar thing happens with sand. If it is heated to very high temperatures, it will turn into molten glass. And when this is cooled down, it turns into the hard material we know as glass. What happens when you heat liquid water up until it boils? It turns into steam. Ice, liquid water and steam are different forms of the material water. When water is cooled down below zero degrees Celsius, it forms solid ice. When water is warmed to above zero degrees Celsius, it melts into liquid water. And when it is heated to 100 degrees Celsius, it turns into the gas called steam. If steam comes into contact with a cool surface, it will condense back into liquid water. However, you should be very careful around hot or boiling water and steam because they can scald or burn you.